My wife is like, should we take these pills? I'm like, yes. <laughs> these are gay drugs. These are the best drugs they make. I've been to an actual gay wedding. Okay, my neighbor in Los Angeles, Gay Tony, got married. That's not his real name. That just how it appears on my cell phone. I, uh, and so our kids, they were, you know, they call him Uncle Tony and Aunt Tim. And uh, we love them. We love them. Their wedding was incredible. It was really gay, though. I mean, like, so gay. Like, you've never been to the, it was like the reset, like before the wedding, okay? It's Cirque de So Gay. They got a guy flying down on a curtain, teabagging a dude, then going back up and swinging around. It was awesome. I'm, I'm set with my five year old son. And you know how entertainment at the start of the wedding is usually like the, uh, a fat girl cousin of the bride singing a horrible song from Frozen or some shit, you know? Or, or a kid that might be retarded playing the trumpet with a boner. You know what I mean? You're like, is he retarded? That boner ain't retarded. Look at that fucker. Jesus Christ, he loves that trumpet. God damn. Okay. They had a six foot four black male transvestite share impersonator named Sugar with a CH. And Mr. Sugar was wearing eight inch boots. So we're about seven foot of transvestite. And, and, and my five year old son had a shitload of questions. He's like, Daddy, what is that? And I go, That son is a transvestite. And he's like, Woo! That's the biggest trans mess might I think I ever seen, Daddy. I'm like, yeah, I think so. I think that's as big as they make them, son. And he goes like, yeah, that's a big. And, and he had a cape on, and my son's into Star Wars, so he was like, Daddy, you think Mr. Sugar like sword fighting? And I'm like, well, yeah, I bet he loves it. I bet he loves sword fighting. What was funny was all the gay boys around us were like, oh, we love sword fighting too. My son's five, he's sitting there going, these are a bunch of cool motherfuckers, I like these guys. Well, Mr. Sugar gets up there and he starts singing Cher, and I don't know the words to Cher. She always sounded like a blue tick hound dog to me. All right, and he's making some move, and his big old dick and one of his little baby balls falls up out of his britches. Monster dick, holy shit. Had an elbow in it, Lord Jesus. Big, big, and tiny ball though. Look like an old whopper, okay? A little ashy. All right, but he's, and my son goes, Daddy, Mr. Sugar got a big old pee pee. And I'm like, Son, no, you and I, we've got pee pees. That's a dick. And, and, and my, my five year old summed it all up. He goes, Yep, Daddy, that's a dick, all right. Them trans mess mites got dicks, huh? That's a good life lesson, son. That's a really good life lesson. Uh, the reception was awesome. The reception. Go for the party. Even if you don't make the actual wedding, go to the gay wedding reception. They fucking do it better than anybody else. Your wedding stunk compared to theirs. All right, food was amazing. They had a real sushi bar with bona fide Japanesey Japaneses, okay? Not like you're getting sometimes in New Jersey where it's a white guy squinting, you know? You know what I mean? It's a real Japanese. All right, first class. They had go-go dancers on every side of the dance floor. I almost got teabagged on the way to the table. They had a Puerto Rican gay, by the way, Puerto Rican gays are the best in the Western Hemisphere as far as I'm concerned. They really take gay to a new level. So they, this guy was dancing, shaking his cock and balls, okay, in a G-string. Right, and I'm walking, talking to my wife, and a light hits a sequence just in time for me to go, whoa, as balls swing by. I'm Matrix nuts. Easily the most athletic move I've ever made in my life, you know? We get to the table, and there's three pills on the table. Three pills, all right? And my wife goes, is that candy? And I'm like, honey, I'm pretty sure I know every candy I ever made. That's, that's not the candy. Okay, I think that right there is, uh, well, I don't know what those two are, but that one looks like pharmaceutical grade MDMA from the early 90s. <laughs> and my wife goes, what's that? And I go, that's ecstasy. She goes, oh, I remember that. Yeah, I know you did. You built the animal. 
And so as we're talking about that, talking dirty stuff, merry stuff, a different gay guy takes the microphone and he's like, hello, everybody. He's dressed up like the queen of hearts, okay? <laughs> Tonight, baby, we're going to Wonderland. Everyone, you have three pills on your table. I am Diego, your body monster. Tonight, one of those pills will make you small and one will make you tall. And one is a Goldilocks pill. It makes everything all right, just like Diego, baby. Let's go. <laughs> So let's do this on three, okay, baby? One, two, three, oh! All right? And my wife is like, should we take these pills? I'm like, fuck yes! These are gay drugs. These are the best drugs they make. You're goddamn right, Virginia. Nobody was seated in my left. I grabbed those pills and did them too. Fuck it. If you're gonna dance with the devil, you might as well lead, you know what I'm saying? 30 minutes later, I'm in a corner contemplating space, time, and the universe, and my place in it, and how we just drift through time and space, and that's what I thought was going on. It turns out I was seated in a corner tweaking my nipple, holding my cock and balls, dancing to Kesha. For like 30 fucking minutes, I know. Jesus. So crazy. You know, it's funny because everybody is always talking to me. You know, they're always like, dude, you went to a gay wedding. Weren't you nervous? Like, that what? Gays don't want us, straights. They don't want you. You've never heard this. You never heard a guy go, dude, I was at a bus stop and four gangster fags rolled up on me in a lower Prius. Okay, two of them jumped out, gave me a full makeover. One of them cut my hair, the other one sucked my dick like a champagne. No shit, really? Are you going to go to the police? No, I'm going back to that bus stop. They're pretty good people. Okay, you've never heard that ever, okay? So, you, you, by the way, I, I was a little bit nervous that I might get hit on by a gay man, but you know what's way worse than that? Having 350 gay men not hit on you. That really hurts your feelings. It's like not, even, not one of them, not even a mercy flirt. Wow, I'm the fat girl at the prom. 